Hey everybody, it's time for some garden tips. And specifically, I'm talking about these boxwoods here. These are boxwoods that grew from cutting. And what I'm gonna start doing now is pruning back the tips to help encourage the bushier type of plant so it fills in. So I'm just gonna snip back a little bit here and here. Okay, and what's that, that's gonna do is gonna send the energy down through the rest of the plant and the leaves are gonna sprout, new branches will sprout, and it'll make a bushier thing instead of this little leggy cut in here. Now this one, you can see I've done a little bit more on that. It's a little bit bushier, but I still want it to fill in good, so I'm gonna cut off all this little floppy growth, all the new stuff. And I brought it in our greenhouse to protect it from freeze the other day, and it's done good. So I'm just gonna go around, prune off some branches there, and help encourage it to send out more growth down and around the plant. And here's one other. So and these are all cuttings that I potted up last year. So they're about a year old. And I'm just wanting them to fill out more before we plant them in the ground anywhere. So, and you just keep doing this multiple times a year, pinching them back, you can use your fingers if it's got real soft growth or a pair of pruners. Um, I've got a pair of snips that I like to use, but I actually couldn't find them a minute ago. Figure that. Anyway, that's all you do. And you do that for anything that you want to create a much bushier type of plant on. Any of your perennials, things like your cat mint and stuff like that, you can pinch back the growth real easy on. It's, it's very simple. Let me show you that. Now this is some cat mint, Nepeta, Walker's Low is the variety. And I propagated it a couple weeks ago. You'll see here on the bottom, I've got roots coming out there. So I'm pretty sure they've all rooted. Um, eventually I'll pop them up in their own plants. But for these, I don't even need the pruners. I just pinch off the top growth. And I've done a little bit of that already. It smells really good, by the way. Just pinch it off. And what that will do, let's show you this. This piece right here in the middle has got a second branch coming up off of it. And that's off of one that I pinched the other day. I'm actually gonna pinch it a little further. Pinch it off. It just smells so good. But cat mint's real easy to propagate. It takes about a week to do it the most to get roots going. So these need to be separated out and I'll put them in their own individual three inch pots here before too long. So that's all you do. And by pinching them back and you do it to any kind of perennial or bushy type shrub, you actually send the growth hormones back into the plant where it shoots out more leaves and more branches and makes a bushier plant. And so that's especially important if you're wanting to sell them at a market or maybe you're starting your own backyard nursery, that kind of thing. I did that for a little while. And you always want to keep it pinched back. You want to have nice, full, bushy looking plants. And that's how you do that. So whether it be a boxwood or a cat mint or another type of perennial or plant, consider pinching back the tips to have the plant re-exert the growth back into the plant itself. So just one simple plant propagation tip. And thanks for watching here on YouTube. Please like and subscribe and I look forward to talking to you again about some more garden stuff.